Welcome to Manling's Comfort Zone. A few weeks ago, Mandy from London asked me what my go-to recipe was for French toast. Well, it's quick and easy, and here it is. You can make it your own because there is no recipe. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have a comment or a suggestion, please leave one. Here's what you'll need. Any kind of bread, day-old bread is fine. I used King's Hawaiian bread. You'll need vanilla, a really good quality vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, quarter cup of milk, four eggs, and powdered sugar, butter, and that's it. My favorite plate to use for French toast is this brown dinner plate that has a rim on it. And so it's kind of flat, it's easy to put the bread in and to, you know, flip it around. So that's my go-to plate. But basically, you can use any kind of toast. Thick toast is better if you have Texas toast. I use King's Hawaiian this time because that's what we had. So that's the beauty of it. You could use raisin bread. You can use whatever you want. So you mix up everything to your desire and your cinnamon, your nutmeg, and then you just soak the toast in the mixture. I don't let mine stay long because I don't like it soggy. Then you flip the bread and put it in a buttered pan on the stove and cook it until, you know, it's nice and kind of toasty brown on each side. And then I make my bacon, I put that at 400 degrees in the oven, depending on if it's thick bacon or thin bacon, it will cook for about 25 to 30 minutes, just depends how your oven cooks. And then scrambled eggs is what I made for this brunch. And the key to scrambled eggs is just taking your time and seasoning everything up. And I add a little dab of milk in my scrambled eggs, but you really don't have to. I've done it both ways and then just season it really well and take your time and let the egg cook so that you don't get it too crunchy, but that it's nice and fluffy. So those are my tips for making French toast. And I always put a little powdered sugar on top. You can add fresh berries, strawberries. You can add triple sec. You can add any kind of liqueur, grated orange zest, but it's all up to you. So enjoy and then, you know, let me know how it turns out. So go out and create your own unique comfort zone and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.